WinUI is the latest .NET development framework for developing modern Windows desktop applications. It provides a unified set of APIs and tools that can be used to create desktop applications that target Windows 10 and later. In this video, we will show you how to get started with GrapeCity's Component 1 FlexGrid for WinUI. FlexGrid provides a tabular data grid UI for editing and analyzing large data sets. Before we get started, you'll need Visual Studio 2019 or higher, as well as the Windows app SDK installed. If you don't have it already, you can add the WinUI project templates through the Visual Studio 2022 installer. Go to Tools and Get Tools and Features to launch the installer. Then select the .NET Desktop Development Module, and on the right side, check the box next to Windows App SDK c -sharp Templates. Then click Modify to install the feature. Once you have the WinUI project templates installed, you can create or open a new project. We will create a new WinUI project by selecting the blank app, Packaged WinUI 3, in the desktop template. It's important to note that Component 1 WinUI controls are only supported in desktop applications. Once the project is opened, we can add a reference to Component 1 FlexGrid from NuGet.org. Go to Tools and NuGet Package Manager to browse online for the c1.winui.grid package. Select your WinUI project and click Install. Adding this library will give you the FlexGrid control and all of its dependencies. Now we are ready to work with the FlexGrid control by defining it directly in XAML. Open up your XAML page, such as mainwindow.xaml, and enter the XML namespace to the Component 1 grid library as shown here. Then you can define a flex grid in your UI by opening a tag starting with the C1 namespace, and then IntelliSense will help you complete the flex grid control. FlexGrid is primarily used to display, edit, and analyze a data set, so we need a collection of objects to bind to the data grid. In the code behind, let's create an object named student and define a few sample students in a list. You can use a regular list for the collection or an observable collection, which works great for two-way data binding. Then finally, set the FlexGrid's item source property to the student's collection. Build and run the packaged WinUI application. If your solution has two projects, make sure to build and run the one labeled package. At runtime, we can see our students populated in the FlexGrid control. We can resize columns and edit cells by double-clicking. The column data type will determine what type of editor is displayed. We can also sort the grid by any column. These are features enabled by default. We can do more with FlexGrid, such as data formatting, cell styling, data grouping, filtering, and more. For more, check out our samples and documentation at www.grapecity.com slash component one slash winui dash controls. Thank you for watching and for choosing Grape City's Component 1 WinUI controls.